Hi, Anna here at the sewing studio. In this video, I'm going to talk you through our top two best mechanical machines, which are the Janome HD2200 and the FAF Select 4.2. So let's take a look at these machines in more detail. The Janome HD2200 has come in at second place. It's a great all-round machine with lots of features and is very versatile. It has 23 stitches, just selected by a simple dial there. Those stitches also include a buttonhole, which is an automatic one-step buttonhole, so super easy to stitch those out. You can change the width and the length of your stitch, and obviously you have your reverse function here. It has a drop-in bobbin, which is really easy to load and even more handy. You can see when it's running out. There's a built-in needle threader to help you thread the tiny eye of the needle. It has a free arm, so this just pops off and then that becomes a free arm. And you can drop the feed dogs. There's just a little switch there. So that then gives you the ability to do your free motion sewing. At the top of the machine, there is a cover that comes up, which is really handy. If you have it down when you're sewing, it saves a buildup of lint and dust getting in the top of the machine. Pictured on the top here is a little quick reference guide to threading. And then this is a different guide to some different sewing applications. There's a little dial here, which is really handy. What that does is that changes the pressure that's on the presser foot. So when we engage this presser foot, there's a certain amount of poundage of pressure that is applied to the fabric. Now, if you're sewing something fine, you can reduce that pressure to help it feed consistently under the foot to reduce puckering and things like that, which is always super annoying. There is storage on the top as well for the feet that come with the machine. And also in the front of this tray, there's lots of storage in there too. The machine comes with a range of presser feet. You have your standard presser foot, a straight stitch foot, zipper or piping foot, overcasting to secure your seams, a blind hem, automatic one step buttonhole, a separate buttonhole foot for if it's bigger than the automatic one step performs, and a fancy stitch foot which is just clear so you can see where you're going when doing the satin stitches. And there's also a range of accessories. Overall, it's a really versatile machine. No matter what you like to make, whether you're a dressmaker, a quilter, general arts and crafts, it has the ability to cope with stretchy fabrics and the thicker side of fabrics. Now to back that up, I'm going to show you how it performs on some different types of fabric. I've set the machine up to sew stretchy fabric. Now, all that's involved in that is choosing a stretch stitch and popping in a ballpoint needle. As you can see, it's sewing it really well and the result is no wavy fabric and the fabric still stretches with the stitch. Moving on to denim fabric, I've changed the stitch to a standard straight stitch with a length of three millimeters and just popped on a universal needle. I'm sewing through two layers which the machine has coped with really well. Let's double it over and go through four layers. And again, the machine's coped with that really well. The results are nice and neat and the seam is super strong. And finally, the leather. I've kept the stitch the same as for the denim, but I have popped on a leather needle. It's going through two layers really well. And again, the stitches are nice and neat and the seam is super tight. As I said, this is our second place machine. So I'll move on to the top ranking and talk you through that one. Coming in in number one spot is the FAF Select 4.2. It has 40 stitches, which is a huge amount for a mechanical machine. I don't know any other one that has that many. They're really easy to select as well. It's just the simple press of a button. You have your reverse stitch and you can change the length and the width of the stitch. There's also an additional dial on this one which gives you the ability to change the position of your needle. So you can have it centre, left or right, which is really handy when you're sewing zips, piping. Most mechanical machines you can only go one way or the other, so it just makes it a bit more versatile. You have a free arm option. This piece comes off completely and then that's your free arm for doing circular cuffs, trouser hems, etc. You can also drop the feed dogs just down here and then that gives you the ability to do your free motion and darning. 
Now, FAF also have a system called an IDT system. And what that is, is a little foot at the back of the machine that just comes down and engages under the presser foot. And that's really handy for when you're sewing thicker fabrics and for doing any quilting to help keep your layers together. At the top of the machine, we have a dust cover. And then this lists out all the different stitch options on the machine and that's where you would thread it and wind your bobbin. Now there's a few ways with this machine that you can wind the bobbin and can you believe one of them is through the eye of the needle so you don't even have to unthread the machine whilst you're winding the bobbin. On the front of the machine in the accessory tray there is some storage. Pop that open and there's a tray inside that fits all the feet that come with the machine. There is the standard presser foot. There's a foot for attaching zips and piping. There's a fancy stitch foot, so when you're doing all the decorative stitches. A clear view foot, so you can see where you're going. A blind, excuse me, a blind hem foot. So excited, it wanted to start sewing. A rolled hem foot. A buttonhole foot, which is a four-step buttonhole on this machine, and then there is a darning foot as well to do darning, but also to do the free motion when you're dropping the feed dogs. There's a range of accessories that come with the machine also. This is a really good all-round machine for quilting, home decor, dressmaking. Now dressmaking is where this IDT system that I've been banging on about kind of comes into its own. Customers talk to me all the time about this bulky bit when hem, hem, hemming denim and it just helps to plough through that bulkiness with no problem at all. It's also really good when we come on to quilting to help stop the layers of the quilt sort of shifting as you're sewing. Now I want to back up my claims and show you how it handles some different types of fabric. No test is a good test without throwing some stretchy fabric at it. I've set the machine up to sew a stretch stitch and popped a ballpoint needle on. And as you can see, the machine's handling it really well. The end result is the fabric is nice and flat and the stitch allows the fabric to stretch with it. Let's look at some denim fabric. Again, I've set the machine up to sew with the denim and that's just a straight stitch with a stitch length of three millimetres and a standard needle. I'm going through two layers first, which is a breeze for the machine. So let's challenge it a bit more and double it over. That's gone through that no problem at all and the stitches are nice and secure. Moving on to a leather fabric, I've kept the machine on the same stitch as for the denim, but I have popped a leather needle on. And that's gone through that no problem at all. And again, the stitches are nice and secure. So there you have it. That's our top two best mechanical machines. One other thing I've just thought of that I forgot to mention is that both of them have, ha have an extra high lift on the presser foot. That was a mouthful to say. So that's where it is normally. And let me find the lever. And they both just go up <laughs> and up they go. So when you've got thick and bulky stuff, you can get that underneath. What sets this machine apart is that IDT system. So to remind you, it's really good for sewing the bulky items and for when you're doing layers, keeping all your layers together. Janome doesn't have the built-in one, but it does have an optional extra of a walking foot which you can screw on. It does the same principle, but it's not quite as good as having the built-in one. I hope you've managed to take something away from this video and you're better informed than at the start. I work here at the sewing studio. Work is a loose term. I get to play on all the machines, but the advantage for you is that if you have a machine and you have a problem, you can just give us a call and we will do our very best to help you. If you're thinking of maybe going onto a computerized machine, check out our other blogs where you can find what we deem to be our top ones.